Alright, so we're cruising back from our photo shoot and look at what just showed up to the field. What is that, Jonathan? That would be a helicopter. A helo Do you milsim helicopter style? No, you don't. Not if you don't come here. Hey, what's up, operators? This is Jet Desert Fox, and we're here at in Oklahoma at American Milsim Broken Home 2. I'm here with Chuck Chopper. Thank you so much for uh, taking time for this interview. No and we're going to be discussing the legality issues and all the questions of how can you shoot from a helicopter and maybe some of the little, a little bit of the physics. So, Chuck, big question for everybody is, you know, every there's this, there's this myth going around that it's completely illegal to to do airsoft or anything from a, from a helicopter. Why don't you tell us? Why that is a myth, and, and explain you know the legalities and such about okay. about shooting with a chopper and and, and yeah. doing this sort of thing. Yeah. Well, as a pilot, we are regulated by the Federal Aviation Administration, and the Federal Aviation Administration does have legalities and regulations that that go to this kind of thing. Uh, if you look in the far range, one of the main questions that most people will have will I don't think you can be flying that low. So, and if you look in the far aims, minimum safe altitude for an airplane is 1,000 feet over populated areas, 2,000 feet over non-populated areas. However, a helicopter has no minimum safe altitude. That's because a helicopter is able to do auto-rotative descent in the event of an engine failure. Now, as far as the airsoft pellets leaving the helicopter, there is no law or federal aviation regulation that keeps airsoft pellets from leaving the helicopter under a powered boat. There you have it. All right, awesome. Now, so another another uh, question that everyone has is, how do the how are the BBs affected by the wo uh, rotor wash, if any? Very, very minimal. Very minimal. The main effect on the BBs comes from the forward airspeed of the aircraft, not so much from the rotor wash. Okay. So we try to keep our forward airspeed pretty slow, so as not to affect it too much. But the rotor wash very has very very minimal effect. All right. So basically, the faster we're going, the more I gotta lead the guy. Right. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, Chuck, Look, for answering those questions. Uh, once again, this is Jet Desert Fox, and we're gonna take this thing for a spin tomorrow. We're gonna shoot from it. Stay tuned.